And just to get into it, let me know what you think of this Michigan State Boston College matchup. This one's really interesting, and this one's really difficult to predict for me. When I saw Boston College beat Florida State, I was like, eh. there was already a game that I was marking down as a potential loss for MSU, obviously, heading into the season. But then Boston College beats Florida State, and then Florida State goes on to lose to, well, everybody that they've played. And I'm like, is that win for Boston College really that much of a quality win now? How good is Boston College after all? And then you look at these two teams and like their statistical rankings and where they're at in SP+. It's actually a really decently close matchup. These teams are, by the way, 23rd and 27th in run defense. So I was really curious when I come into a matchup like this where I think teams are kind of relatively equal on talent, relatively equal in terms of, you know, they both got brand new head coaches this season. They're both converting over to different offenses. They're, mo- they're both going through a lot of change right now. When things are that even keeled, I really want to get back to the basics of fundamental football when I look at predicting games like this. So I ask myself questions like, Who's going to be able to run the ball more effectively? Who's going to be more effective on third down? Who's going to be able to stop the other team from running the football? Because that's what it comes down to in an even match football game. Again, football isn't all that complicated of a sport. I don't know what to tell you guys. If you're able to run the ball more effectively, if you're more effective in the red zone, by the way, which we have the stat on that here in a second too, if you're able to not turn the ball over, Aiden Childs, you have a much higher likelihood of winning games like this, especially against evenly matched teams on talent. Boston College has a decent quarterback. Michigan State has a decent quarterback. Boston College has some decent wide receivers. Michigan State has some decent wide receivers. Michigan State has young talent. Boston College has young talent. So they're really, really similar in a lot of ways. Again, 23rd and 27th, respectively, in run defense. MSU is at 23rd. Boston College is at 27th. They're both right exactly around 2.5 yards per carry is all they've given up, by the way. So I think any hopes of this game being high scoring may be a little dashed. If you're somebody betting this game, by the way, and the line is Boston College minus 7.5, I'd almost take MSU on that because you get a touchdown. But... I don't know. It, it, it's it can be a. I think it will be a really close game. They're also. I gotta look at it this a second. <laughs> My bad. Boston College is forty first in pass efficiency defense. Michigan State is fifty sixth in that regard. So still similarly close there. MSU 23rd in third down percentage, Boston College 31st. I can go on and on. Nearly every statistical category that I like to look at for analyzing these games, I'm like, these teams are evenly matched. So when they're pretty evenly matched, I got to go to my gut. I don't have much else left to go with. I got to go with my gut, and I got to go with the fact that Boston College has this game at home at night. Bill O'Brien is a good head coach. We know he's a great offensive mind. I don't think MSU's defense is terribly great. I know the defensive line has played better than expected so far this season, but this is also a step up in competition. Michigan State so far this season has played FAU in Prairie View. And I'm blanking on, they played Maryland. So Maryland's decent competition for them. But Boston College is a higher rated team than Maryland to this point, especially in like things like SP Plus ratings and things like that. You know, considering that they were able, again, to beat FSU. So I think Boston College pulls this one out, but I wouldn't be surprised if Michigan State covers that 7.5. Again, the fact that it's 7.5 and and not like 6.5, You get a touchdown with that, so if Michigan State loses by seven points, you still cover. If you're a betting person, that's probably what I would go with is Michigan State covering. But I think, again, with this game being at home, and Boston College, by the way, being the more experienced team in terms of returning production, they're one of the higher teams in the country, if I'm remembering that right. And Bill O'Brien is a good head coach. He's a proven head coach at the collegiate level, great offensive mind. I think he'll have some things figured out to kind of dice up that Michigan State defense. And again, having the game at home, I give the edge to Boston College there. 